In this video, I'm going to show you the location of all 42 treasure carp scales. Why would you want these scales? Well, it's the only form of currency that these pot nobles actually accept. The pot nobles actually sell two of the three pieces of the dragon mask. Purchasing that will allow you to change uh, exchange skill points into attack power. But they also sell the lapis lazuli. You got two of them you can get in each playthrough. Now, why do you want the Lapis Lazuli? Well, you're going to need 11 of them total if you want to upgrade all your prosthetic tool upgrades. So you're going to upgrade everything. You're going to get the Master Prosthetic Trophy. So again, there's only six you can get in each playthrough. Do a regular playthrough New Game Plus in order to get the crafting materials required for all the tool upgrades. So we're going to start off with the first five of them at the Harada Estate, the Estate Path Idol. From this idol, we're going to actually kind of go backwards, and you're going to see some water. There's going to be a lake, and there's also going to be a little island over here to the left-hand side. It is where one, where one of the pot nobles is located. Again, the vendor type that accepts the carp scales as a form of payment. Now, in the water here around this island, there's going to be three carp that we can find. Now, here's how it works. you got to swim up to them, and you got to swim fast because they'll eventually kind of swim away and you have to wait for them to respawn. They'll respawn in just a, a few seconds. So there's one. Again, there's three around this little island, but there's five total in this area. So I'm going to just kind of do a speed boost to swim into them and attack them. Now, again, there's three around here, but there's only going to spawn one at a time. So that's the first one. Now we just have to kind of wait and find the second one. There'll also be one by that bridge out there in the distance. We'll head over there in just a moment. I'm going to first get the three over here. Again, they are going to try to swim away from you. They'll eventually go into a wall and they'll disappear. If you miss it, you can just wait about five seconds and then they'll respawn again in the same starting spawn spot. So wherever they spawn initially, they'll keep spawning at that spot. So here is number three. All right, so number four and five are going to be towards the bridge. One's going to be an actual carp that we need to kill. The second one is going to be a regular item pickup. And you can already see this one swimming on the surface of the water. Pretty easy to spot. When they're on the surface of the water, they're much easier to get to and, and hit. All right, so let's continue through the bridge here off to the left-hand side. Around the back side of this rock is where number five is located. All right, so staying in Harada Estate, we're going to go to the Bamboo Thicket Slope Idol. Now, from this idol, we're going to continue up the path just a little bit. There's going to be a grapple to our left-hand side, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And there's going to be two carp we need to kill here. One's going to be right below me. Another one's going to be up river just a little bit. And this, this little guy down here, I'm just going to show you how you know tricky you can be, how fast you need to be to get these things. And I didn't actually lock on this guy right away. And by the point I, already, I found him, he was already swimming away. So I'm going to just leave him for now. I'm just going to travel upstream, and there's going to be another carp here. You can kill him from the surface. Now I'm going to go and head back and try to get this other carp scale. He's actually going to evade me for a second time. you got to be really quick. When there's a lot of water coming from below, if there was more room, and when we get to the Fountainhead Palace, you'll, there's a couple that are in deep water. You can actually get way below them and then swim up to them really easily to kill them. Of course, we don't have that option here in a river. This guy swam away. Uh, I'm swimming away much further than I need to. I could just stay very close to where he spawns in. I don't think I knew that at this point. And there he is. You can see how fast they spawn back into the world. And this guy's going to try to get away for a third time, but I caught up to him. All right, so it is time to change locations. We're going over to the Senpao Temple. This is the Temple Grounds Idol. This one's going to be quite easy. I'm going to jump onto the roof just below me. And there's a little lake below me again. And you're going to see the two carp. They're going to swim around. Now, if you wait, they'll actually swim. The one will swim around, and you'll get both of them together. You can get both of them in one uh, swing. I wasn't so lucky here, unfortunately. So I got one here. 
And for the second one, I'm just going to kind of grapple back up and then jump back down on top of them. Hopefully you were lucky enough to get both of them with just one or two swings down there. I wasn't so lucky. All right, so that was number eight and nine. We are now going to go to Ashina Deaths in the Maibu Village area. Now, there are three of them in this area. The first two are going to require 1,000 sen because you have to go to the mob merchant and purchase these. So real easy. Just have to have 1,000 sen. They're 500 apiece. Now, there's also a third one here. This one is just an item pickup. So from that location, we're going to travel downstream just a little bit. Be careful. There's one of these poison sword dudes. But just around them, there's the item pickup. Pick it up. And that's number 12. So now let's go head over to the Ashina Depths. This is the water mill. We'll return to Ashina Depths uh, a little bit later. There's an item we need first. But at the well, or the mill rather, just swim upstream. It's not a very long distance before you'll run into the carp. One poke with the sword will kill him. All right, so now we're going to head to Sunken Valley, go to the gun fort. And we are going to go head towards the Sunken Valley Passage. This is where the bridge was, where the snake uh, destroyed it. Here we go, Sunken Valley Passage. Now we're going to drop to the water just to the left. There will be one here, and there will be another carp. So two carp total and one item pickup. So that is the first one. The other guys out there in the distance are just regular fish. They'll try to eat you. Be careful. Swim away from them. And there's going to be a rock and there's uh, some water that circles around. You can see the carp just in front of me. This guy got away from me a couple times as well. He swims around the rock. So let's go ahead and reset that. Try it again. Except this time I'm actually going to catch him while on the surface. There we go. So again, there's two carp in this lake, but there's also one item. So we're gonna pick up treasure carp scale number 16, just from that location, just swim down, look around, we'll find the item. It's the only item in this, this end of the lake. There it is. All right, so let's head over to the Ashina Castle. Now from this location, I'm obviously late in the game here. Uh, just as a reminder, you don't get the diving ability until after you've defeated the corrupted monk. So this is gonna be late game before you're gonna be able to dive in the water. So from the castle there, from that idol, just swim down and we're gonna swim through the underground passage. And during this passage, during the swim, you probably got this one already. You'll swim right into the carp. All right, so let's head over to the Fountainhead Palace. Now, remember, you can't come here if you did the uh, Shubu ending, the bad ending. Now, from the manor, we're actually going to go to the back left corner of this area. And we're going to actually find a hole in the ground that's filled with water. And it's going to create a little tunnel to where the three carp are going to be low, or three items are located. We don't have to kill anything here. There's also going to be an item that we need to pick up, a quest item that we will have to track, uh, travel back to Ashina Depths for. And that is actually going to be in that big chest there. So first, let's go ahead and pick up the three carp scales that are here. Now before we leave, make sure you open this chest because this is a quest item that we're going to need for the next five scales there it is water of the palace so let's go take a little detour we're going to use the homewood isle idol and then i'm going to travel back to the wedding cave door the wedding cave door is where you met the corrupted monk for the first time it is also the passage that you take to get to the fountainhead palace 
So from that wedding cave door, we're going to back travel to this house that's guarded by a whole bunch of enemies. I'm going to crouch underneath the house. There's going to be one of those rotating trap doors. And in here, we are going to find a guy. He's going to want to talk to us for a little bit. So just exhaust all his dialogue options. We'll go ahead and greet him. And just keep talking to him until you have the option to give him that water we picked up just a, a minute ago. There we go. Give him the water of the palace. All right, but now you have to return later. And returning later is going to turn him into one of those squid fish things. Uh, so to do this, I'm just going to fast travel back to my last idol and then come run back here again. Now, if he's not here, just go back to the idol and rest. But he should be here, and it's going to be very easy to kill him. But killing him will drop us five carp scales. Now you see the number on the bottom, uh, the right corner of the screen here in just a second. You'll see the number five indicating we got five scales from that. All right, so let's head back to the Fountainhead Palace. We're going to start off the flower viewing stage. There are seven fish and five item pickups in this big lake here. They're all going to be centered around kind of the deep area over here. So I'll just show you the seven fish locations. I won't actually show myself killing all of them. There are a lot of resetting and chasing after them. But here's the deepest part where the headless is located way down below. Uh, there's two carp. You could see one there. And there was another one off in the distance. And there's also going to be two over here. If I look to the right, you can see them there. And another one out there in the distance. And then if we swim around this rock, there's going to be two of them in this area here. So that is the first six. The seventh one is actually going to be up a little higher. It's going to be underneath the pillars of this building just ahead of me. So you can see they're all kind of centered right around the big, sunken, deepest part of this lake. So let's go ahead and just kill this guy. And there we go. So I was mentioning earlier that it's easiest to get these some of these from swimming below. The, the two in the deepest part of the lake, they gave me a lot of trouble. This guy is kind of running away. It was the last one I needed. So I'm just going to swim down and then wait for him to respawn and then just swim up and attack him. This is kind of the easiest way to get these two here in the deepest part of the lake. These two are probably the hardest to chase after. All right, so you've picked up all seven of those fish. You killed them all. You got all of the carp scales. Now we're going to head down to the, the bones of this big, gigantic fish down here. Inside that chest is going to be a prayer bead. I'm on New Game Plus, so I already have it. And then flanking it left and right are going to be two treasure carp scales. All right, so now we're going to swim all the way back up. Make sure you avoid that headless or just kill it if you're at that stage of the game. Get my bearings here. So I'm going to swim up to the shallow part of this lake. You can see down there in the corner, that's where we were. We swam across. And there's going to be a building right here and a second one around to the right. We're going to enter the one in the, the right here. And you can see there are three item pickups. So even though there are five item pickups, three of them are grouped together, two of them are grouped together, and the seven fish are all kind of around that big, deep area. All right, so now we're going to head to the feeding grounds. This is the final four treasure scales we can get. And for this, you can talk to the guy over here to the left-hand side. He gives you a little quest, tells you that to ring the bell, you can feed the fish. Well, what you need to do is get two precious bait and then feed it to the great colored carp. After you fed him two regular bait, you can call, go back and talk to that quest giver and he will give you four scales. Now, if you didn't give the carp 
the big uh, colored carp, the precious bait, and say you just killed them, and that's fine. Just go and talk to the quest giver over here, and he will then give you the the treasure scale. So that is the location of all 42 treasure carp scales. It's time for me to go shopping, get my lapis lazulis, get the dragon mask fragments if you so desire. It costs 40 carp scales to purchase everything that those vendors have. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.